Hello and welcome back to Yakuza Zero. We uh, we pick up the action by this phone box here. Um, I did off camera just go back to that restaurant just down there just to eat some ramen, just to top up my my health. Uh, oh, hello, you again. That's the police officer. Hey there, Kiryu-san. Mind if I do another stop and search? Uh, and as usual, I'll hand over the expired lunch set. Uh, actually, I can... I can yeah, I've already shown in the pocket tissues and the expired lunch set. Let's go back to the pocket tissues. You've seen my pocket tissues again uh, before. Do you recognise them? How about this? Hmm. This is about as safe as it gets. It doesn't look like you're carrying anything dangerous. Here, take this back. Your cooperation is appreciated, Kiryu-san. Why did you join the police anyway? Huh? That was out of the blue. You want to know why I became a police officer? Yeah. Well, I just always see you here questioning people. It made me wonder if stop and searches are the whole reason you signed up to the force. I, uh, um... Mm. What? Is it a touchy subject? Actually, I'm ashamed to admit it, but stop and searches are the only thing I'm good for. I can't do anything else. Mm. Huh? What's that mean? When I joined the force, they partnered me with a senior officer. He was great at what he did, and really popular with the other officers. He had my back right from the beginning. Pretty much the ideal cop, just like the ones you see on TV. I was in awe. Then one day we stepped in to break up a fight between some drunks. When I pulled them apart, one of them attacked me from behind. My partner moved to protect me, but he got stabbed instead. It must have hit an artery. Blood was gushing out, and he didn't make it. He had my back until the end, too. Ever since, I've been scared to death of real police work. No matter the task, I just end up a nervous wreck. Now the others in the department just see me as dead weight. I try to stay out of their way when I can, so I spend my days out here doing stop and searches. Questioning people and searching their belongings is the only thing I have. That's all I can do. <laughs> Sorry to ramble on like this. Thank you for your help. Mm. He's clearly down in the dumps. I guess I opened up an old wound. <sighs> Bit of a... Bit of an unfortunate little pun there. Uh, okay, so our friendship with them is going up, which is great. Uh, let's continue heading on up this way towards our quest destination, which is in here. Well, here's the champion district. The Taku Tachibana real estate guys have apparently been coming here a lot lately. It's worth a walk around to see. Oh, Mr. Big Shot's around there. I just saw his... Um, oh. Uh, I saw his uh, thingy, thingy -majig. Um So I want to kind of get around here without f running into him if I can. He's not here. And it looks like we need to get into here. I count three guys. Two with bats. Oh, one with a toothbrush. You lost, friend. Why are you here? There's no place in this neighborhood that'll serve a Yakuza like you. I've heard men from Tachibana Real Estate have been coming around lately. Are they here now? What? You another Tojo boy? No, actually. And I'm not here to chase anybody out of town. Sure. So why are you asking after Tachibana's guys, then? I just want to know more about them. I promise I won't make any trouble for you or the others here. Okay, looks like trouble found me. Not the warmest welcome I've gotten. We're sick and tired of you, Yakuza. You don't give a rat's ass about any of the businesses here. But this place is all we've got left. If you want us out of here so bad, you just have to kill us. I told you, I'm only here to talk to Tachibana's men. Cut the shit, man. You assholes have never bothered with talk before. You just take. Looks like we're getting into a fight. I've had some requests to see more of the beast style of fighting. So let's, um, let's switch to beast. And also... Uh, can we upgrade these beast abilities? Because we do have 4 million. Um, so we can afford that thing. Ability acquired. Uh, reduces the amount of heat lost. That looks good. 
Uh, can we upgrade this one? That's another two million. Can't quite do that. Uh, guarded charge. Sounds pretty good. Let's do it. Hold LB and press Y. Okay. And I don't think I can buy anything else right now. Okay, let's fight. Uh, LB and press Y. Oh, oh, I'm down. So far, not going too well. Okay, so far I'm missing them. Okay, uh, let's just start. So far, well, I'm, I'm not taking much damage from these guys, but it's very slow fighting style. Oh, I seem to have the bat. The bat was good. Not sure how I picked that up, but um, yeah, things happened. What, what is this guy? Are you finally ready to hear me out? I didn't come here looking to hurt anybody. All I want is to know what Tachibana real estate is up to. That's it. I'm not selling them out to you. And neither will anybody else in this neighborhood. Hmm? Wait, aren't they trying to chase you all out too? No, they're, they're trying to protect us from getting run out by the Yakuza. The district's only still standing right now because of them. What? Isn't that right, Oda-san? Oh, hello, who's this who snuck up behind us? Evening? Well, if it isn't the guy from the Masi's bar. I thought you said you weren't Yakuza. Apparently, it's hard for people to believe, but I'm not. Used to be in the Dojima family, though. Shit, the Dojima family? Of all the Tojo groups around, why did it have to be them? I was expelled, though. Got nothing to do with them now. So, what's got an ex-Yakuza sniffing around after us? Your boss asked me to partner with him. What? What's your name, kid? It's Kiryu. Well, I haven't heard a word about this. Stay put. I'm calling the boss. Nice late 1980s phone for you there. I understand. Then that's how I'll proceed. Yes, sir. Goodbye. What did he have to say? He said if you want to know more about us, you should come by the place you met him last night. He'll meet with you himself. Yeah? All right. Just don't come back around here. The people in this place don't take kindly to Yakuza. I hear it's you guys protecting the district from the Yakuza. Is there any truth to that? Some. The boss has his policies. Policies? He says the people in this district have been here since before Kamarocho burned down in the war, that this place is the root the whole town's grown out of. He says newcomers like us have no right to meddle here. That's quite a change from your attitude at the other place. The Hokua building? <laughs> Please. The tenants there all drifted into town looking to cash in. You saw the guy at the Namasi bar, didn't you? Sure, he played the I'm a poor civilian victim role. But how do you think they got those locations? By chasing out the people who were there before. I call it karma. Not that my philosophy really factors in. I'm just following the boss's orders. But you're saying you guys play by a set of rules. My name's Oda. I've been with President Tachibana for a long time now. I run on-site acquisitions at most places. So, what's it going to be? You're going to meet with the boss or not? 
I'll meet him. I've got plenty more to ask. Seems like Tachibana real estate's harder to figure out than I thought. Okay, so I now have another mission to meet with the boss, I guess. How does that look on the map? Uh, all the way over there. Okay. How am I doing for health? I'm doing okay for health. Let's uh, let's try exiting out this way. Seeing as... Oh, someone needs our help. Over here? Let's intervene in this. Please, help! We're just getting to the good part. Don't even think about butting in, dweeb. Intervene! I want her plate. Why don't you go home before I get real mad? Psh, what can you do against all of us? Waste this narc. Hooligans! And they're about to get beasted. Oh, I missed with that one. Uh, you, my friend. Okay, and I want to try the guarded charge. Okay, I can't actually attack with a guarded charge, apparently. But it's perhaps good for getting yourself into a different location. So beast mode seems to be quite good for spamming attacks and just tanking damage. Anyway, it was a stupid idea. We won't do this again. How can I ever thank you enough? Please take this. It's the least I can do. You got a slightly battered Stamina Royale. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Happy with the Stamina Royale. I feel like we're going to have a, a big old fighty fighty at some point and having some Stamina Royale will be useful. Oh, sorry. So, we're good for health. We're good for supplies. Uh, I think that's a karaoke bar next to us there. Yeah, not interested in the karaoke bar. Am I going the right way to get to this location? Um, down is probably slightly quicker, isn't it? Oh, well, someone briefly wants to fight me there, but I'm not really interested in fighting low-level goons, so quite happy that they lost interest. Taihei Boulevard, passing a save point. Um, should I save? I feel like maybe I should save. There's a little bit of me that thinks that maybe we might be soon entering a sort of a, a big... Um, story mission thing. So let's drop a little save in here. Uh, also, what's what's on the map locally? Uh, so that's that's the place where I can practice my training with um, what's his face, the guy, the thing I did last time. Uh, there's, there should be two other training slots. So that's for training the brawler. But where do I go to train beast? I'm not seeing a marker on the map. Uh, can I zoom out? Yeah, I don't I don't see a spot for training beast mode. Maybe that's not unlocked yet. Or maybe I have to maybe I have to unlock some more of uh, these abilities before I can then Yeah, I think I need to unlock this it, to be able to train that and that. So yeah, until I've got there. That's that's the charge attack. Hold Y. Okay, yeah. So that will occur soon. Uh, oh, people to fight. I know him. Stop where you are. And you get punched. Yeah, you punch me. Does pretty much no damage. Uh, you two. I feel like against certain types of enemy, this, this combat style isn't going to work as well. Ah, can't believe he dodged my punch there. Didn't dodge that one though. So one thought does occur is that we have some entertainments around here. We haven't been bowling yet. I feel like I feel like this is a good opportunity. Mm. See, I'm sort of in two minds. I kind of I want to take this opportunity to get go bowling, but I'm also aware that progress on the story missions has been quite slow lately. Um, let's uh, yeah, let, let's no, let, let's let's go bowling. Bowling it is. Bowling is going to be our main attraction for this episode and you're gonna enjoy it because I say so right can I go in this way is this a front door to the bowling alley apparently not um, is this a door to the bowling alley apparently not uh, up here maybe 
Who's saying, please stop this? It's over here. Oh, another victim needs my help. Let's intervene. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? You need someone your size, you big oaf. Fine by me. Oh, I've managed to pick the thing. And I've broken the thing. The thing didn't last long. Let's try getting over there so I can pick up a bike. Pick up a bike. Ah, yes. That was worth it. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that mountain bike certainly is broken now. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Thanks, I don't know what I could have done without you. Please take this slightly battered ruby plate. Ah, there we go. Ruby plates are worth muchos, dosh. Um, how do I get into the sodding bowling alley? Is this the door? Or do I buy a ticket from here? I'm really disappointed with how hard it is to go bowling. All these doors look like they should be entrable. That's a popcorn shop. Maybe I need to go through the popcorn shop to get to the bowling alley? Maybe bowling hasn't been unlocked yet. I mean, there's a bit sticking out here. No, okay. We're going to have to come back to bowling as another date. So sad. I mean, one other thing that we never actually got around to doing was the uh, the batting up here. So maybe I should go there. Hello, you. You look well dodgy. I was uh, very disappointed that I couldn't go last time around because I didn't have any money. And now I've certainly got money. So let's do this. Uh, so I guess I talk to this person here. Hello, getting a high score can win you cool prizes. Would you like to see what prizes we have? Yes. Uh, I've seen this before. Thank you. Uh, I told the boss that offering expensive prizes like this is going to ruin us, but he never listens to his staff. Go ahead and win them all, that'll show him. Uh, it, was, uh, it was this thing I had to go into to do the bowling. 300 yen. Let's play. I'm not going to check how to play. I'm sure I'll figure it out as I go. Let's do this. Okay. That went quite well. Oh, missed it. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe I should figure out how to play before I play. I mean, I think I was onto the right track, wasn't I? Uh, let's do that. Press A with the right timing to hit balls pitched by the pitching machine school runs. Hitting the balls so that it strikes a target will count as running the bases. If you fail to hit a target, it counts as out. After three outs, the game is over. The game also ends after 20 pitches. Hit a home run four times in a row. Okay, right. Yeah, I was, I was on the right kind of track, but maybe I don't need to worry too much about aiming towards the ball. Yeah, now we're on. Oh, I was a bit slow there. I need to swing it. Oh, not quite so early. That's pretty good. Oh, is that no good? Oh, apparently that didn't quite hit the target. Fine. All right, I'm willing to keep trying here. I'm sure I can only get better. I've got the money to spend. I want to win a prize. Any prize will do. Okay. That's good. That's quite a bright one. Oh my goodness. That's not going to hit a target, is it? So I think when it's kind of far off... Oh. Let's just focus on hitting it straight for now. Hmm. I feel like I need to compensate for when the ball's at an angle in some way, but I'm not quite sure the exact strategy for that. But yeah, certainly the balls seem to come towards me at all sorts of crazy angles. But maybe they've just got spin on them. Maybe they are... yeah. So that went way off. So maybe I just want a tiny little bit of... Hmm. Let's just try hitting them straight for now. 
Oh. It'd be nice if there was, um, given how crap I am at this, it'd be nice if there was a quicker way to get back in after failing horrifically. Seeing as failing horrifically does seem to be my MO at the moment. That's quite nice. So I think I want to swing the angle at like the, the last moment. Oh. So home run is down the bottom right. Oh. Oh, glad that hit. Oh no. I did better. I feel like this is worth persevering at for a little while. Within reason, of course. Let's do this. Yeah, there's definitely got to be a strategy here about seeing the angle that the ball is coming at you at and choosing the right, <laughs> the right direction to guide it back into the target space. Oh, wow, way too early on the swing there. I was thinking too much about the angles, not enough about the swing. And it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. Oh, did that hit a target? Oh, that didn't hit a target. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's not good. Oh, too early. Shocking. I sort of don't want to leave here without having won at least one prize. Oh, did that not hit? I thought that was good. Oh. No! I'm certainly ranking up the stat for how many times I entertain myself, but it is a costly sort of entertainment. so close to a target. <coughs> yeah, see, I can't just line up on something and then hope it's going to hit because the, um, yeah, the angle the ball comes at affects how it's then going to fly off of your bat. I feel like there's, there's going to be a lot of learning involved here. You know, learning how the, the angle you swing at combines with the angle the ball flies with you at. And until I get that right, it's going to, it's going to be just guesswork. Is that good? It's not good. I, I think I'm done with this. I think this is starting to, to reach the point where it's just a little bit of a frustration and it's just not fun anymore. I'm clearly not cut out for it. Let's just, let's just never go batting again. I'm sure I'll be better at bowling once that opportunity does eventually present itself. So how's my health at the moment? Health is decent. It's not at max, but I think it's close enough. That's, um, is it this building I need to go into? That odor guy said if I wait in the penthouse here, Tachibana will show up. Anything I'm forgetting before I head up? Let's head inside. I think I'm equipped. I'm good, let's go. Who are you? Oh, and your little friends too. Look, it was Tachibana who invited me here. Aren't you with his real estate agency? The president isn't in. I heard he's coming later. He told me to wait for him up in the penthouse. <laughs> I'm afraid you're mistaken, sir. What? One of our co-workers, Oda, left us very clear instructions. He said a young thug would come barging in and that we should greet him with a gentle bruising. Oda said, what now? This is your chance to pull an about face, pal. Leave quietly and I'll just watch you walk away. 
Dude, your ear's broken? I told you to get the hell out. Feels like this is the only sort of welcome I get lately. But getting bounced at the door from a party I was invited to is a new low. I already told you, nobody invited you here, asshole! Oh, more of them. Move. Talking to you is a waste of my time. You lost your mind, dude. Or are you in that big of a rush to get to the hospital? Tachibana real estate men, they're about to get beasted. Yeah, beast, 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 beast. Oh, look at them all in the group. Beast seems to be quite good for crowds, doesn't it? I mean, I'm getting a little bit punchy punchy, but I've got health potions for when that becomes critical. I'm going to focus on the guy with the bat on. Oh. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Spam, 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 spam. He's down. And now I've got his bat on. This guy's fighting. Oh, stop it, you lot. Why are you doing that to me? Oh, I hit him so hard he didn't even remember to fall over. I feel like we're getting into boss fight territory soon. Is that you, Oda? Oda. I thought I smelled something. <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, me. Did you have the guys downstairs attack me? Why? Hey, you did your homework on us. I figured it was only fair that we got the chance to take a look at the goods too. I mean, it's clear you're pretty good in a fight. Good enough to merit President Tachibana personally recruiting you? I just don't know. And you thought having your crew attack me would give you an answer? Not really. Some things you've just got to do for yourself, I guess. I tell you, it's tough not being able to delegate. The real estate business in Kamurocho is a rough scene. But it works out, seeing as my blood boils hotter than your average Yakuza. So you're more than just a crooked suit, is that it? Oh, I'm nothing special, but I am the perfect match for a half-assed ex-Yakuza. In that case, I guess neither of us needs to hold back. Bring whatever you've got. Now, given how much difficulty I had with that first boss fight, I'm expecting Oda to be pretty tough too. Let's see how Beast works against him. Pretty good. Got some furniture. One more hit left on this sofa. Okay, and can I pick up his weapon? No, I can't. There's some furniture to pick up. Is there a curb stomp available to me? No. Okay, he's blocking me at the moment. Okay, his first health bar is nearly down. And I'm taking some damage. I think it's time for me to start slurping up the goodies. Uh, let's have a stamina and X. That's pretty good. That restores most of my health bar. And gives me a whole load of heat. Oh, didn't like that. Right, there's another piece of furniture for me to pick up here. Oh, ouch it. Come on, give me that chair back in. <laughs> oh, I need to get another... Okay, so let's do a guarded charge. Oh, no, let's get a chair. Ouch. Okay, I'm still at health, half health, though. And there's still plenty of furniture to go. Oh, he's got jumpy. Oh, and I'm stunned. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's spam him with some more attacks. Oh, and I killed him. That was good. I only needed one heal. Beast mode is pretty good if you're a... Uh, Kind of quite raw in your approach. You know, it's not very dignified <laughs> or elegant, but it worked. <laughs> oh, you found that funny, did you? 
Uso da no fucking way. A total rookie, one on one, and he wins? You've got to be kidding me. Are you satisfied, Oda san? Very. He's, well, he's got me beat, boss. What's going on here? You signed off on Oda testing me like this? Correct. Oda-san is invaluable to me. He is practically one of my limbs. Thus, I needed his approval before I could officially welcome you into our circle. Is that so? I'm beginning to feel more and more like an idiot. I was about ready to put my trust in you people until a few minutes ago. Tashibana. Tashibana, isn't it about time we dropped the secrecy? Why did you approach me? I need the reason. Very well. But first, let me ask you this. What is Kamurocho in your eyes? Couldn't say. I don't follow your question. I have a theory, Kiryu-san. I see this place as a feeding ground for the Dojima family and other Tojo clan entities. People flock to this neon paradise, bearing their money. The streets are awash in it, and the Tojo Yakuza drink it all up, every last drop. What are you getting at? The Tojo clan's power has encapsulated this city in glass. I aim to crack it open. Like so. He's a Jedi? Whoa, blackout! What the hell? No way, what's going on? This is a pretty big twist. Money is power. I intend to see just how far my own power can get me against the Tojo clan. I'm afraid the present answer is not very. As it stands, I can manage a meager 10 seconds. But by securing the empty lot, I plan to stake my claim amongst those who control Kamurocho. Such is the value of that patch of land. Just who are you? Kiryu-san, I do not know how aware you are, but the Tojo clan is far from united. By way of evidence, I would offer the name of one Tojo member acting as my ally in all this. In fact, it was at his insistence that I was led to approach you in the first place. So you've got a mole inside the Tojo clan. Who is it? The man who wishes to see the two of us allied is the Tojo clan Dojima family captain, Kazama Shintaro. What? Kazama-san? The Dojima Lieutenant Kuze-san approached you to spy on Kazuma-san for him, didn't he? To extract from Kazuma-san the information he possesses on the empty lot. Yes, 
The secret information in Kazuma san's possession is the identity of the person able to locate the owner of the lodge. In other words, me. You? In the race to secure the empty lot, we have made far greater progress than that of the Dojima family. Of course, the moment they learn of that, they will be quite furious and will turn their full attention to destroying us. Nevertheless, that you and I would join hands despite that fact was Kazuma-san's ultimate wish. It was half a year ago that Kazuma-san entrusted you to my care, before he departed for prison, of course. Even then, he knew with considerable certainty that Kuze would set his sights on you and that you would find yourself unable to remain in the family. That's crazy. Not even he could possibly have seen all that coming. Kazuma-san is a man capable of rising to the very top, not only of the Dojima family, but of the Tojo clan itself. His abilities and wisdom cannot be overstated. To him, predicting the events that would unfold around you was a simple endeavor. What's more, I'm certain that his motives for acquiring the empty lot go far beyond merely protecting his own position. Knowing him, his designs are in service of something far greater. Then, if he's so all-knowing, why is he in prison? That must be another necessary step in his scenario. That is what I believe, at any rate. What? That's insane. Have I earned your understanding, Kiryu-san? Tachibana. What proof have you got that you're the guy Kazuma-san entrusted all this to? Kazuma-san led me to believe that this would serve as sufficient proof. That watch. You are familiar with it, I believe. To Kazuma-san from Sawamura Yumi-san. It was a present, or so I have heard. And Kazuma-san gave it to you? I merely took care of it until I could pass it on to you. I ask that you return it to Kazuma-san directly once all of this has been settled. Yeah, I don't trust this guy. I think he stole it from Kazuma. I guess I still didn't have any clue just what kind of man Kazuma-san really is. If he wants something from me, I'm ready to do it, even if it costs me my life. That's something I decided the day I went against his wishes and joined the Yakuza. In that case, I am pleased to count you as an ally, Kiryu-san. We've finished a chapter. Chapter 2, The Real Estate Broker in the Shadows. Completion bonus of 3 million yen earned. Earned through battle, about 9 million. Earned through business and minigames, nothing. Chapter completion bonus, uh, 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 total worth two five million yen high-end Japanese cars. Okay. Climax battles item opened. Ooh. Let's save that and let's call that an episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll come back for next time when we'll be playing, or starting at least, Chapter 3, A Gilded Cage.